Oh, that is interesting. Oh, 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 can you help me? Oh, 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 done. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, something is different today since I've got this map. The guys from Green Borscht sent me this map. You saw my video, how I was putting it on a wall and I love it so much that I decided to change my background, at least for one video. If you like it, I'm gonna do more videos with this beautiful background. So first of all, let's start that Pelican finally released the new puzzles. All nine puzzles and some of them are already sold out. They are always sold out very quick. And second, I did a live stream on Instagram yesterday where I did a draw of my giveaway, which I announced more than a week ago. And we have a winner. This time the winner is from United Kingdom. I already contacted him and the puzzle, Web3 puzzle will go straight to United Kingdom. And what is the best way to celebrate the new release of the Pelican puzzles? It's gonna to be to solve another Pelican puzzle from the previous release. Um, but the puzzle is behind the camera, where is my regular background? Wait a minute. So I'm gonna solve the key trap puzzle today. That's a, one of the most beautiful puzzles the Pelican released and it's one of my favorite. The key trap puzzle is made of many different kinds of wood, such as polysander, maple, venge, cherry, and garappa. And this puzzle requires 38 moves to take it apart and 38 more moves to assemble it back together. I'm gonna try to solve it and we will find if I was able to find the solution of this puzzle. So if you uh, like Pelican puzzles, you wanna buy puzzles from the new release, link to the Pelican's website is going to be in the video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the key trap puzzle, keep watching the video. And by the way, if you want to have such a beautiful background as I have, uh, link to the Green Borscht website is going to be in the video description. So let's try to solve this beautiful key trap puzzle. One of the most beautiful puzzles made by Pelican. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, I forgot about the stopwatch. Here it is. Some people like to see the time. Let's see what we can do. We can move this piece. We can move this piece as well. Oh, the whole part is moving. Oh, and I can move the key. Oh, I guess I have to adjust the camera a little bit so that you can see everything. Let's see. There are too many moves. I have to start from the beginning. Okay, let's see. This goes up. And here, what's next? I can move this and I can even move this piece up. Okay, from here I can see that the key has cut out in it. And probably I can even move it one step this direction at some point. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a huge move. A lot of parts moved at the same time. Feels like I'm losing tracking of what I'm doing. That is not good, since I have to assemble it later. And I want to be sure that I can do it. Okay, this moves. This piece, oh, this piece goes all the way to the left. I can move this one. This goes down. Ooh, but now I feel a little bit stuck. Oh, I can move this piece inside. Oh, and okay, I see that I can move this piece up and probably this piece to the right. Oh, that is a tricky one. And this goes down. If I can move this piece up, I can probably move this piece down and maybe even remove it. Oh, that was quite interesting move. Okay, let's see, maybe, or maybe it is too soon for such moves. Oh, everything goes up and I can move this piece up, but what's, oh, now I need to move this piece in order to move this piece down and remove it, if it is even possible. Oh, there is so much happening inside. I can't even describe it to you, but believe me, it is hard to understand what is happening. But I feel that I can take it apart quite quickly. But the assembling is gonna be 
a huge challenge. Okay, I think that I'm stuck now. Don't know what is going to be the next move. Oh, oh, that is interesting. I can probably like even rotate this key and remove it. I guess the rotation isn't allowed, but still it is quite fun that I can do this move. And the key is out. Okay, I don't think it is a necessary move, but let's keep it like this. What's next? If everything went up, I can probably... Oh, this piece goes up. And we give some space to move this piece. This part probably I can move it up and down. But it is stuck for no reason now. Maybe it is stuck because, because something is weird going on on this side. Let's try to move everything back. Yeah, like this. Now this piece goes up. This piece can go here and down there. But I think that I've been here. That is not the way. Oh, or maybe this is the correct one. This goes here. Mm, I need to change. Oh, oh, I think that I can almost remove this. Oh, I can remove it. I can remove this piece. First is out. Uh, there was a move kind of like cheating here. No, that was not cheating. I can probably remove this part now. I can rotate. No, the rotation is possible, but not all the way. Okay, but it's gonna be easy to remove it. I just need to move this up. Remove this piece. I'm gonna put them in an orientation how I removed them so that I can deal with them later. And I guess these three parts, four parts, are not gonna be difficult to remove. Let's see. This piece goes down. Yeah, these parts are quite challenging now. This goes here and all the way down. Let's see, probably that is the way how to remove everything. This goes all the way to the left. Now I can probably move. Oh, this one is out. And these two parts are going to be out. The first and the second piece. Ooh, that was too quick. <laughs> I didn't really expect that. Okay. While I still remember something, I have to put everything back. Otherwise, it's gonna take me hours to assemble. And people don't like watching long videos, so I'm, tr I'm trying to do it as short as possible. So this piece goes inside. Now I can move this part to the right and here. I think it was something like this when I was able to remove these two parts. Mm, I guess I have to move this part up. Move the key. Yeah, like this, something like this. Okay. Everything feels nice and easy now. Now I have to put this part inside. Like this. Oh, that is nice. And then this piece goes inside. Oh, is it so easy? Is it solved almost? No, it can't be. It can't be so easy. Okay, now I have to move this piece down and that's gonna be it. Uh, how to do that? How to do that? This goes here. All this stuff supposed to go up. How to move the whole part down? Uh, it won't go down because of this piece. Probably I put this piece 
in a wrong way inside since now I can't put this part down. Okay, I guess I have to remove it, flip it and try to put it again. Dum -da -dum. Okay, solved. Now I flip this piece the different way so that this cutout is going to be facing to the right and try to put everything back inside again. Oh, I think that I'm stuck. What I did wrong this time. Everything was so nice, but now I'm stuck. Oh, can you help me? Please write in the comments what to do. What is going to be my next step? Okay, let's see if this piece is correct. Yeah, it was correct. I think that it is in a correct spot. Okay, let's try again. I'll put it in. It goes here, but now it is blocked by the by the key, by this part of the key. So probably I have to figure out the way how to move this piece down. The key goes down and then maybe I can move the whole, this piece and the rest of the parts one step down, but it won't go there. Why it won't go? I don't know. Oh, I feel like I have to remove this part again and try to see what was wrong. Maybe I can try to do every single step without this piece and see what I can do. I thought that I can move this part somewhere to the right, but it doesn't look possible now. And this piece is on top. That's what ruins all my plans. Okay, what if it is like this? Okay, now it looks it looks interesting, but what to do next? I have to move this piece somehow and deal with the rest of the part. Oh, I think there is a huge move before I didn't have it. What to do? How to move the rest of the parts? So I guess I have to find the way how to move this piece. Move down, move at least somewhere. I don't want you to stuck there. Don't be stuck in there. Oh, finally, I found that move. Oh, okay. That was all about moving the key. Oh, done. Oh, that was, that wasn't easy, but that was much quicker than I expected. 76 moves to take it apart and to assemble it again. And I did it in 25 minutes. That's something I didn't expect. I thought it's gonna take me at least one hour to find solution of this puzzle, since this shape reminds me of a puzzle that I have on my shelf for more than a year and still didn't even try to solve it. I mean, Excalibur puzzle. But probably after solving this puzzle, I'm gonna finally try to solve the Excalibur. Even though it took me 25 minutes to solve this puzzle, it is still a very nice puzzle, very interesting to solve, and I guess it's gonna be one of the puzzles that everyone can solve. If I can solve it in 25 minutes, everyone can solve it. It doesn't matter if you spend hours or days, it is possible to figure out solution by yourself without using any uh, solutions. It's a very nice and quite logical puzzle since the uh, moves of the parts, they are quite logical and you can see everything what is happening inside. Since there are not too many parts, uh, the parts are not too complicated, like for example, uh, parts of the dozer puzzle, which I have right here. So it's a very beautiful and uh, very interesting to solve puzzle. Unfortunately, I don't know where you can buy it since it was sold out in a previous Pelican release and I don't think you can buy it anywhere else. Sorry. Talking about new Pelicans release, let me know which of nine new puzzles you bought. I see that Camel 
Uh, Fermat and Waffle are already sold out, but there are still six great puzzles available. So if you like Pelican's puzzles, link to their website is going to be in a video description. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and see you on Monday.